Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to set up your Pintair variable speed pump to a Jandy control panel so it works just the same way it would as if you had an E pump. So let's check it out right now. Okay, so here is our Pintair IntelliFlow variable speed pump. And we have it wired to a Jandy Aqualink PDA panel. So what I did, and it's in the instruction manual, um, the key to this is just getting the wires for the low voltage controls in the right place. So I'm going to open this up. Um, okay, you see this? Um, communication wire that is going to go up into the panel it's right here and it goes in the middle two of your COM port your four wire COM port it goes into the middle two just the same way it does on your Pintair panel um, but if you're looking at the colors um, on this, it's a little different. The colors are green, yellow, black, and red in order from left to right, or four, three, two, one. And uh, your green wire will go into number three, and your yellow wire will go into number two. So don't just match the wires up, just like you do on the Pintair panel, but you um, you put the green wire to number three, and the yellow wire to number two and that's all you have to do and then at that point you're going to go to your PDA if I can see it here you're going to go to menu you're going to select that you're going to go to system setup and you'll hit the first arrow you'll hit the arrow up and the first thing is going to be your my Aqualink, the next thing is going to be your variable speed pump. We're going to select that. Now this is where you choose your pump model. You select, uh, we only have one variable speed pump on here. And so uh, I'm going to select that. And it's preset up for an E pump. But this is a IntelliFlow VS. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to select that. Okay, I'm going to hit the back button, hit the back button again, and now for pump application. Now in this case, this pump is set, sorry about the glare, this pump is set for the fil filter pump, so we're going to set it for filtration and select, all right? And that's all there is to it. Um, you've also got your your mini and your max, your speed um, priming, stuff like that. So the next thing I'm going to set the speeds. And basically, it's got a bunch of preset speeds. Um, let's see if I can get a better view of this, but. Basically, your preset for 750 for the pool to 2750 for the spa, and uh, all that's going to work. You know, you just um, I set this. I might set the spillover for higher since I got a separate jet pump. I don't need to run it at all that high, but I might want the spillover to be nice and high because this has a waterfall that goes between the the uh, spa and the pool. So, other than that. You know, I'll use just back out of it. Hit the back button to get out until you're at your main menu. And that's all you need to do. So anyway, thanks for watching.